What's up guys, Big Ape 93 here today to bring you my Dragon Ball Super Episode 51 Raw Review. If you're a fan of talking, talking, and even more talking, this was the episode you've been waiting for. If you aren't aware, you have our good buddy over on Twitter, Herms98, to thank for the live translations as they happen. So if you would, go follow him and thank him for all he does. The episode title for this week was Feelings That Transcend Time, Trunks and My. Basically, we start up where we left off last week with Bulma throwing out the time machine that Cell had used to travel back in. And I'm not for sure how many of them didn't remember that that time machine was a thing, but we go into a little flashback where they explained what that time machine was and how it came to be. Which, for those of you that don't remember, it was the time machine that Cell used to travel back in time, and it's from the third timeline where Cell killed Trunks and took the time machine and came to the timeline that we currently have. And if you also remember, Trunks kept that time machine because he put it up with the other one, and they also explained that before he left to go back to the future for the final time, that Bulma asked him if she could keep it, which he let her have, and that is why she has it currently. For those of you that were confused as to that, well, that's why she has it instead of Trunks. After that, we get a bit with Goku asking Whis for more training, to which I guess he doesn't really acknowledge, because after that we get Beerus and Whis talking about how they hate that they're all altering the flow of time. And even with as much as they hate that they're altering time, they are kind of intrigued by the whole time ring business, which I guess we'll get more into that during the rest of the arc. After all that is said and done, though, we flip back to the future, which we see Black just kind of playing around with his newfound abilities because his power had increased during the fight with Goku, and that's about it for that scene. And then after that, we flip back to the present where Dr. Briefs and his wife come back from vacation, we're presuming. After which, Bulma sews Dr. Breathes the time machine plans, which she hopes they'll be able to crack during the next few episodes to get the fuel to go back to the future. After this, Trunks hears that one of Pilaf's underlings is named Mai, so he does find out that it is the same person. To which we get a flashback where he explains how he met her the first time, and he also explains that when Black first arrived, almost all of humanity was wiped out. So this is like way worse than the androids were. Basically what he explains is that after Black's first attack, the rest of humanity gathered in resistance cells and Mai led one of these. We see then Mai's resistance cell try to take out Black with little effect. It's after this that Trunks pops up and tries to fight Black some more, to which he has rather unsuccessful results. After that, however, we get a little bit more on Black's motives. Which basically amounts to that he sees humans as a failure, which we'll have to see more about that when it gets fully translated and subbed. After that, we cut back to the present from the flashback, and as far as Trunks explains to everyone, Mai is dead, according to him. And to wrap it up, we get a bit with Beerus and Wiss talking about how they felt Black's key before, and they'll have to look into that, and that's where we get to the end of the episode. Cue up the episode preview where we get Goku, Beerus, and Whis traveling to Universe 10 to go to the realm of the Kais to meet with Zamasu, who we've been waiting to see, finally. And then on the flip side of that, we get a Trunks and Gohan reunion, which should be pretty interesting. And for those of you that haven't seen the preview, there was some pretty interesting stuff in there, and I'm going to be really hyped about it because in the preview, we're going to get future Gohan scenes again, which they're going to redo from the OVA History of Trunks. Other than that, that's about it, other than me saying I hope when this gets dubbed that they have Damien do future Gohan because he does that role so good. But after the sub comes out and I get time to review it, I'll try to have that review up by Monday at the latest. As always, thank you guys for watching, and if you like this video, make sure you drop a like and please subscribe if you wouldn't mind. And if you like everything I do here, make sure you follow me on Twitter at BigApe93 or you can like my Facebook page. As always, you guys have a wonderful evening.